Yay! Bit of fine young cannibals, man, eh? I love all that, man. Honestly, yeah. She drives me crazy. I'm in a good mood. Yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> Thursday, 2nd of August, 2018, and you're watching Cop Talk, that TV. A red. I thought I'd put me, uh, you know, my black top back on. You know what I mean? Because yesterday, the grey was blending in a bit with the wall behind me, even though that's white. But, not, you know, it's a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, you, some of you failed to spot me. You know, now I've lost a bit of weight. And that. You're like, hey, where's Dunk gone? You know what I mean? Just sort of floating head and all that, you know. So, um, are you looking at me? I know you look at me going, you don't look any fucking different to me, chubs. Hey! Fucking, um, two stone ten down, I think, since uh, 14th of May. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about it forever. All right. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, hang on a minute. Oh, what the fuck's that, man? <coughs> How are you doing? You alright? So this Max Mayer, um, Crystal Palace, he passed his medical yesterday. Do you remember this boy? Uh, let's get his Wikipedia page up. Uh, well, we know he's a midfielder. Plays for Schalke, wasn't it? Yeah, Schalke 04. Four caps with Germany. Senior caps, that is. He's been capped at various uh, levels with them. Um, you may remember him, he's 22, Liverpool tried to sign him a couple of times in the past and uh, he was I think he was available on a free transfer, wasn't he, this summer, uh, out of contract and uh, he was one of those players that I always thought was, you know, had, um, yeah, you know, that, that would, I didn't, um, all right, I didn't always think that we would sign him, but he was one of them players that was like, there's a real chance of that happening, I think, you know, like you see, we see transfer links and speculation all the time, don't we? And I'm sure you're like me and you think, mm. and some of them just don't go away. They never, ever, ever go away. And he was one of them. And I'm really surprised uh, that we didn't go in for him. But I, and I was just wondering why you think that is. Do you think, I mean, some people said, oh, it's because he's been given a you know, massive salary and all that. Because obviously, you know, when a player is free, there's no such thing as free. You know, you know that, don't you? You know what I mean? The big sign on fee or inflated wages or both. Um, is it just a case that we have nowhere to put him or what? Because, you know, Klopp really likes him. So what's that all about, guys? I mean, we have got, you know, probably fucking 11 midfielders as it is, a whole team of midfielders, do you know what I mean? So, uh, but the thing is, I can, I can see that changing. I can see it changing. Um, by, that, by that, I mean... Uh, we've had so many, you know, we've had new in incoming midfielders, but we've got the Ox that's injured. And I should point out, actually, someone did message me uh, on Twitter. Uh, let me have a look. Twitter. I'll see if I can find it. Uh, at Duncan Oldham mentions. Here we go. Someone mentioned me about um, the Ox. Uh, there. David Knight. He said, uh, Dunk, spot on with your video on current players and their good character. Ox is another. That worked that exciting. Uh, yeah, he was saying that Ox is another. and Because uh, I mentioned in my video, yes, I did that video, didn't I, about good characters and all that. You know, like, because I do genuinely feel that we've got some players at the club at the club uh, that are like, you know, of a, a decent character, you know, that seem to be, uh, I don't know, I just, I just the, this, I'm never going to be li believe that these players are loyal to Liverpool Football Club and stuff like that, that's not what I mean, right, and, and maybe why should they be, but I just felt that, or feel that we have, uh, the dynamics of the team and the squad is that everyone just seems a bit of a happy bunny. Not everyone, there's a couple that I'm not so sure about, do you know what I mean, which I think will be gone anyway, one of which is a midfielder. And like, <clears throat> I just, the Ox was one that I, I should have mentioned yesterday. He was right to point that out. You know, he's another one that's, you know, like, I know there was de um, debates when we signed him. That was it last summer now? Fucking hell, has it gone that fast? I can't remember. Um, when we signed him, you know, people were like, it, me included, were like, mm, all right, that's fine. You know, is he a good player or not? Because my Arsenal supporting friends were like, you know, we don't really know. <laughs> that was true. Um, and when we, uh, you know, when he's seen him in some post-match interviews for us, 
you know, he came across as a total... I just, I just came across really good. And there was one interview with someone, I can't remember who, a teammate alongside him, and he intervened, didn't he? Or stuck up for a teammate or something, or detracted. And you got it away like Leon, sort of like, you know, he's not here. I don't know, he's sweating, guy. I'm sweating because it's so hot. My air con's on 16 degrees Celsius in here. The temperature's forecast 48 degrees Celsius. Can you believe that? Huh? Anyway, so... Good job I've got a swimming pool. No. Uh, <coughs> that's for the benefit of the years. I'm not being a smug cunt with you guys. It's just, you know, the people that watch my videos that don't like me. I just like to taunt them a little bit. Okay. Um, so, what the fuck are we talking about? Ox, yeah. Now then, someone made a, a good, you know, point in the, uh, in the comment section yesterday on here. I don't know if I can find it. Uh, oh, there, Dave Smith, he says, I don't care about personality, only winning on the pitch. I get that. Yeah, I, absolutely. I do get that. But you, I, I believe that the personalities, right, in the squad, behind the scenes, can also have a mental effect on how players turn out for the club. All right? Now, what I mean by that is if you've constantly got someone in the squad, right, in the squad, in the background, in the changing rooms, and that talking about his future, going, you know, uh, you know, we're not really doing it, are we? You know, we're, not, we're, we're a decent side, but we're not winning out. And I, you know, I want to better myself. You know, I want to better myself. You know what I'm saying, Dave? I want to go somewhere else. That is planting the seed in other players' heads, isn't it? Do you not think? And I think that does make a difference. I genu I swear to God, I genuinely do think that that makes a difference. I'm spitting. Uh, all right, yeah, yeah, I've got a message coming in. Um, so, I need to reply to that, guys. Excuse me, it's very, very, very important. Two mins. Recording vid for my cocktail.tv legends. <coughs> I can't get that, but messages pop up on the screen. Oh, that's why I'm going to. Put my phones around, busy guy, me. You know, guys. Um, uh, whatever, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. So I'm, I'm saying that. Um, I think that it can influence behind the scenes. I do, honestly. And I think that there is one player in particular that I don't think will be around for much longer anyway. And in fairness to him, maybe he's not like that now. But I think a few, a couple of years ago, um, I think he was quite influential to a couple of the younger players. Both of which, bizarrely, are no longer at the club. The club. All right. Uh, but not because... You know, I, mean, I just think that it, it put... I just think that they were like, you know, made to believe they were better than they are. Sort of thing. And I think it does. I think it does make a difference when you've got players that are there. I mean, when you've only got to look, go through the Coutinho stuff, the Suarez stuff. How disrupting that is. Do you know what I mean? All right, they're maybe a different level of player. Yeah. Do you get me? Drift? Anyway, I don't even know what we're fucking talking about. Oh, that's shite, for we're talking. I want to talk about this Max Mayer kid. Uh, but yeah, the Ox is a good one. So yes, of course, at the end of the day, they can be total scumbags, not bother with kids that are dying of cancer or anything. You know, they've got no heart and soul and all that. Yeah, and we just don't give a toss. You know, we can have 11 Balotelli's out there, if you like, which may be a bit unfair to him. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, disruptive, disruptive off the pitch. Um, as long as they're doing the business, we don't care. I get that. I get that. I, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I get that. Me, I also think that it's not just about what a player and a personality does on the pitch. You can also contribute to the goodness of the side behind the scenes. Do you get my point? Yeah, that's my, that's my point. Yeah, DK fucking B. Don't know the best, you know what I'm saying. Max Mayer, right? And the Ox is, uh, is worthy of that, that, that uh, of, of recognition, I think. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, is that, what's this, guys? I don't know, is this sleep? Is it the light? No, it's the light. I, I, either that or it was uh, a bit moisturising, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> um, I, I don't even know. Why do you watch my videos, seriously? I, I, am I not too old for this shit? Because I'm sure a lot of you people are young pups, you know what I mean? Is it just funny to see an older man, like, getting fucking mental and that? All right, fine. <coughs> um, I have no idea why I'm in a good mood today. I haven't. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Um, <coughs> Max Mayer, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Max Mayer, for fuck's sake. I know, I, know, I know I go off. I go off, I go off, I go off. Uh, anyway, so Palace, we'll cut it, let's cut it short then. So let's cut it short. Let's not talk about it anymore. So Palace Medical yesterday hasn't been announced yet because I think they're waiting for international clearance. 
Um, the reason I've flagged his name up is because obviously we tried to sign him before. He was uh, available on a free, so that makes it an attractive option considering some of the, the, the fees that were quoted before. I just wondered why you think we hadn't gone for him. Do you think it's because of these so-called... Uh, there's been reports that he's going to be paid humongous figures, you know, um, uh, salary. But they've also, I've seen contradictions to that as well, that it's maybe not that, maybe not the case. I'm not sure, right? So anyway, that doesn't mean that we can't ask, do you think it's because of the salary? Do you think there's just nowhere for him? Um, or what? I mean, we can't sign everyone, but he's just, one, like I say, he's one of them players that I thought we might do. I will be watching what he does at Palace. Won't you? Will you be watching that? I will, yeah. That's it. Anyway, so I've got to go because I've, I've got to do something, all right? I've got to do something. That was why I got a message for you on there said, tell me I've got to do something, you know what I'm saying? Well, I've got to respond, so um, I, will, I will deal with that. I will be updating DKB.TV today for those of you that support me. And I think I'm going to run a promotion because I think I'm in a really good mood that if you join DKB.TV on an annual, right, on an annual membership, over the next couple of days or whatever, you'll get a free Cop Talk membership worth 50 quid, guys. And I'm like, you know what I mean? So if you join DKB.TV on an annual, you will get the free DK, uh, free Cop Talk membership, which is 50 quid. Now, the 50 quid, all this money basically just goes into like making all this possible. That's it. You know what I mean? And paying for me electric and shit like that. You know what I mean? I don't get, I ain't got a wage. So unless you people support me, I go without food. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, it'll help your diet then, won't it, you fat cunt? You know what I'm saying? But I'm definitely going to do that because I'm feeling in a good mood and you guys are brilliant. I'm feeling positive about Liverpool Football Club at the moment. I want to go into the you know, the, the campaign on a high. I'd like to get as many of you people as involved as possible on DKB.TV, which will get you on the members website free for a year, which where we have a great laugh and we have a lot, you know what I mean, like lots of, lots of chat and talk and lots of gossip and stuff. Some good, fucking good people on there. And I'd like to do that. So, you know what I'm saying? If you're interested, you should look in the video description below and just sign up for the DKB TV annual anyway. Uh, and then email support at coptalk.org. Or when they contact you, uh, just say, can I have the free CopTalk membership as well, please? No problem. No problem. That's it. It's as simple as that. I'll probably put a video up about it later anyway. You know, but it's a good, I think it's a good opportunity for you. Yeah. So I just want us to be all I want us to do you know what I mean? I want us all to be more of us to be together and that. And obviously I want more money because I fucking need to pay bills and it's aircons on guys. It's fucking cost a fortune, you know. Alright. So and if you're on a, if you're DKB.tv already on a monthly, just change to the, the annual and you'll get the free thing imagey. Alright? Nice one. Right guys. Uh let me know what you think about the Max Mayer situation. We don't need to talk about character because we did that on the other video, I think. Um, but you're more than welcome to comment anything, you know. Um, yeah, that's it. All right. I love you. And uh, hopefully I'll, uh, I'll speak to you a bit later. When you see me look down like that, I'm about to stop the video. All right.